It was shocking and concerning when this mother says her kids had lice for the first time a few years ago. I came home from summer camp and they both had head lice. And I found a, li a live louse on my son's head and I was horrified. And it's a normal feeling for many parents who encounter this problem, according to lice expert Julie Burbank, the owner of Let's Be Pals. She says recently she has been very busy. Definitely an influx in, in head lice. I think the most the important thing about head lice is people are not well informed about it. They don't know what it looks like. They don't know how to properly check for it. So we've had a lot of influx in schools with head lice recently. She says kids can get it very easily. Playing, touching heads, you know, hugging, taking pictures, playing games. Anytime their head is together or their hair is together, we have the chance of getting or giving head lice. The CDC says personal hygiene in the home or school has nothing to do with getting head lice. Lice are are very contagious, so it doesn't matter whether your hair is clean or dirty. Parents really need to know how to check for head lice. You have to have a proper comb to be able to check for head lice. You have to have your hair wet to be able to check for head lice. So these are things that um, people, parents need to be informed about. Being informed is what this mom says helped her when her son came home again with lice this past July. Now she has some advice for parents. Don't panic. It's going to be okay. And just get the right information.